Being experts on Trader Workstation is important at Maverick Trading. All Maverick traders use Trader Workstation to place their stock and option trades and have been doing that for 12 plus years. Our traders need to be perfect on the platform as they trade our capital and keep 70 to 80 percent of the profits they generate. We're happy to release some of our TWS training to the public as we know TWS can be an intimidating software. If you're ready to become a professional stock and option trader, click on the application link in the description below. Now on to our TWS tutorial. All right, so let's take a look at Interactive Brokers commission schedule. Um, some of the things that are known about Interactive Brokers are low margin fees. As they're advertising here, they're rated one of the lowest margin fees by stockbrokers.com. Their margin uh, they always compare themselves to other online brokers like E-Trade and Fidelity. And you can see the difference in their margin loans. And that's been something that Interactive Brokers has been known for for since inception. We used to trade with Interactive Brokers because they were the lowest cost in the industry years ago. And so it's not just margin. It's also on the commission side. So if you come into their pricing, you can see the commissions. And we can come in and look at what the different costs are for different things. Now, when you look at their programs, they have two programs. They have a pro and they have a light. The a IBKR light is zero cost commission. So you can buy and sell stock, pay nothing. You can do a lot of different trades for zero cost. However, on their light program, they will, so brokerages will use their own inventory, essentially trading against customers. Uh, interactive brokers on their pro will not do that. They'll basically give you the best execution price. Some brokerages will have you trading against their inventory, and maybe you could have gotten a better price live in the markets at a certain exchange. Well, IBKR Lite, the trade-off is they may trade you their inventory and do things like that. So it might not be the very best commission. Whereas when you use the pro platform, they can use their smart router to route your order to the very best exchange and oftentimes get you a better price. So there are advantages and disadvantages to each one. But the basic breakdown is you can see very low cost. I mean, zero on no transaction fee ETFs and the expectation is about 0 0.005 cents per share, etc. So you can kind of break that down to be if I trade a few hundred shares, it's going to cost me maybe a buck, two bucks, three bucks. It's not going to be a lot of money as a general rule, but understand that there are just different tiered levels. You'll notice this when it gets into options. There's a fixed contract rate where you pay 65 cents per contract, or you can have it tiered to where you're paying 15 to 65 cents per contract. And you can break that down a little further. Same thing on the futures, 85 cents per contract, or you can have it tiered. Now, if you look at tiered pricing, it basically depends on how many you're trading. So the volume that you are doing. And also, the commission schedules can be different for different entities. When you're classified as a professional trader and you have a professional platform, you can't go to IBKR Lite. You can't use this, this area. So if you're doing it based on tiered, well, how much volume are you actually transacting? Is it less than 10,000 contracts? Probably so for an individual doing an individual trade. So you're going to fit in this category of being uh, less than 10,000 contracts per month in terms of total contracts traded. Now, if you're an individual and you're doing more than 10,000, you are really going after it and doing a lot of trades. But that would be more institutional. That would be doing 10,000 to 50,000 contracts or even 50,000 to 100,000 contracts per month. All premium, they've got minimum per order. You spend at least a dollar is your minimum commission. So even if you were to trade something that would normally be 25 cents, if you're only doing one contract, it still might hit you for the $1 because that's their minimum. So eligibility is for all individuals. If you're doing IBKR Lite, 
that is for U.S. residents only. There are other fees that can be associated with this, exchange fees, clearing fees, regulatory fees, uh, etc. Those are fees that are not paid to interactive brokers, but are actually paid to regulating bodies or exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange or things like that, where, again, usually those fees are very minimal. It might be a couple of pennies on your order, but something to be aware of. Uh, as you continue to look down here, you can see there's different countries and different quantities and things of that sort. Now, that's on the option side. If you were to go into futures or if you were trading currencies, there's different commission schedules. So get familiar with that. If you were trading futures, you can have it fixed. You can have it tiered based on the quantity you're trading. Again, there's still the exchange and regulatory fees and things that will be charged. Different exchanges where you'll be trading futures, of course, you might be on the CME, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, or you might be uh, at the NYMEX or whatever, and they could have little tiny fees. But again, typically just a few pennies. When you're trading different assets, mutual funds, there's no load, there's load mutual funds and so forth. So all of them have different schedules. And to find that, you'd simply go into pricing, you'd go into commissions, and then you can read more about it. You can also reach out to their customer support team with additional questions that you may have. So the basic breakdown is on stocks and options and things of that sort, there are IBKR Pro or IBKR Lite programs that you could be using. IBKR Lite is a lower cost, but there might be some trade-offs on the back end as far as the smart routing is concerned. Notice that IBKR Pro is smart routed. It is not smart routed for IBKR Lite. That can result in you paying zero commission, but maybe getting a little bit worse execution price than you would have otherwise. Hope this video was instructive. Again, go to Interactive Brokers, look at their pricing, and then click on commissions, and you can dig in to what you're trading and find the answers there. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.